Things are quiet on the weather front tonight. And that's good because we can focus on severe weather that's coming for the season ahead. Today is the beginning of Severe Weather Week 2019, and our first topic is river flooding. It may not be the first hazard that comes to your mind when you hear the term severe weather, but flooding is a serious weather event that has major impacts. Here is meteorologist Joe Struess. When it comes to severe weather that causes harm and loss of life, we almost always think about thunderstorms that produce tornadoes, hail, and damaging winds. But flooding causes more deaths than any of these and is second only to extreme heat, according to the National Weather Service. We've already seen devastating flooding in 2019 in places such as Iowa, Missouri, and Nebraska. On a more local scale, Fort Wayne is built along three rivers, which provides a great opportunity to investigate how flooding preparedness works in the downtown area. But what would happen if Fort Wayne experienced a catastrophic flooding event and the river behind me were to rise? We set out to answer that question. I spoke with three city officials to ask how ready Fort Wayne is for a flood event. There is a lot of flood mitigation that's been done over the last 50 years in Fort Wayne, the biggest of which was the Army Corps levees that were built about 20 years ago that protect about 5,000 homes and businesses. You can find an example of flood prevention along St. Joseph Boulevard, where an elevated levee wall runs along the riverfront, which would stop water from overflowing onto the road and then eventually into the local neighborhood. The new riverfront expansion, which includes the soon-to-open Promenade Park, provides a unique look into how the city prevents flooding while focusing on new development. You'll notice that a lot of our parks are built along the river, um, especially downtown. We have Lawton Park, Bloomingdale, Guildland, Headwaters Park. Um, all that's intentional because it's much better if a, if a park floods than, than somebody's house. So again, those parks are designed to provide storage for flood events. These parks, including Promenade Park, are built in areas known as green spaces, which are intentionally left underdeveloped to help with flood events. While not all green spaces become parks, these areas are crucial to preventing flooding in residential areas. Parks are a great example of, of ways to invest in the community and invest in flood mitigation. When it comes to planning a new park expansion along the river, time is spent carefully modeling what would happen under specific flood stages. The design for Promenade Park includes a low valley area that will be used as extra storage for water so that the buildings, such as the new pavilion, will be protected. Special planning also went into choosing plants for the new park. 90% of the plantings in this park are native plants that can withstand flooding. It's careful planning like this that creates a beautiful park that also serves the purpose of flood prevention. When Promenade Park opens next month, we'll get a great new spot to enjoy by the river, one that's also designed to protect the city from flood damage in the future. Down by the river, Joe Struess, Wayne, 15 News.